Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falca Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Today, gonna be Ryung vs. Hero on Glittering Ashes from Katowice 2022, top right. It's gonna be Ryung, and in the bottom left, we've got Hero. So, both players, top 10 in the current GSL season. They're out now, but they qualified for the second round of the GSL group stage, which is a new thing for GSL, which means that they were the ten, one of the two of the 10 players selected, well, not selected, the two players who earned their way into that second group stage. So I wanted to see how they would perform against each other because they were both in different groups for GSL. So it's gonna be a PVT here on Glittering Ashes. Hit that like button if you're excited for the Patreon cast of the week, which just means it's gonna be posted at patreon.com slash Falcon Paladin for those of you who support me for at least $1 a month over there. And if you're watching this the week of May the 1st, thank you very much for supporting me at patreon.com slash Falcon Paladin. And if you're watching this in the month of June or maybe late May on YouTube, hit that like button, hit that subscribe. I'm here five times a week with StarCraft II content. All right. So, a PVT. We're going to see Zealots and Stalkers and Marines and Marauders and Ghosts and maybe some Disruptors and probably some Colossus. And yeah, it's going to be super duper good here. So, Ryung is a longtime player. Hero is a longtime player as well. So, they know each other's tricks. They've been playing against each other for many, many years. And no Reaper opening here from Ryung. Are they still blocking? Wow, so Hero blocking the command center for just a little bit longer than usual. And Hero's Nexus is at like 35% now, so. Ah. All right. And, oh, he even has a cybernetic score here. So cyber core into Nexus, Nexus building faster than barracks into command center. So Hero is ahead, everybody. Factory coming up here from Ryung. And SCV going back home. Probe as well. Running from the Marine. Run from the Marine. Burr, 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 burr. All right. He's coming back. Oh, Jukin. Jukin a little bit. Stargate opening here from Hero. So pretty standard stuff here. Man, I just cast an absolutely insane seven game. Yeah, it was a seven game final series between uh, Dongrei Gu and Creator. Out at AfricaTV.com slash Laughing Games, which I've talked about. I'm not sure how many people, like, bother with that stuff. But if you want to see me casting live StarCraft 2 stuff, that's the best way to go. Uh, maybe we'll put a link to Laughing Games' channel in the description here. So you can go check out the VODs, because that's where they go. The VODs are put on his YouTube channel. And then, uh, it, I mean, it's awesome stuff. It is some really good stuff here. So, anywho... Oracle opening here from Hero. Sometimes you see Void Rays, but Oracles are pretty good. Also, a Phoenix opening is pretty awesome. If you're worried about getting Widowmine dropped, which doesn't seem to be the case here. Rung's going for the Cyclone, which is definitely a defensive decision here. If you're going for a Cyclone, it means you're going to try to deal with this stuff, right? Deal with anything that tries to come into the main base. Whether it's a Warp Prism, whether it's a Void Ray, whether it is an oracle, the Cyclone's going to do a fantastic job dealing with that. Another Barracks is on the way here, so we're not trying to mech this. We're not trying to mech it happen against Hero is Ryung. But yeah, both these players, they got to get some big names. Like, get through some big names to make it into that final 10 selection for GSL Season 2 for 2022. So I'm excited to see what they're going to be able to do here against each other. Yeah, see, Oracle comes in, sees the Cyclone, and runs. You just, you can't. Like, you can't go in there when there's a Cyclone. You can't kill it fast enough before it murders you. It does way too much bursty damage. And sure, you toss down a Revelation instead of using your energy on the Pulsar Beam. And, I mean, even hanging out on the edge here, the Cyclone's like, no, get out. And that's exactly what's happening. So, so far, so good. I gotta say, Ryung has a pretty nice opening. Hero in for the Oracle kind of got burned by the fact that it was, in fact, a Cyclone opening. But, on the other side, going for Blink, right? Yes, going for a third Nexus, which I really love here, too. And then we'll see what the splash damage of choice is going to be here. Or if it's just going to go for some kind of a Blink Stalker all in. Uh, how about three base, though? That's not super viable. So, yeah, it could be Blink Stalkers for some harassment and some aggression. But he's going to keep making probes here. He's going to er, saturate that third base. 
Another revelation gets tossed down, sees everything that's happening here. There's a bunker at the front, just in case some stalkers arrive, and everything's working. I think for both players, and oh, I should name this Oracle. I have Oracle names ready to go. So this is Cleaning Bot. This little cleaning bot did everything it could, but was ultimately unable to mop up the Zerg mess. <laughs> quickly spreading across the factory, determined to rid the area of Zerk matter. The cleaning bot had its core put into an oracle and perhaps a couple pulsar beams would be more effective than a mop and a scrubber. So, a eh, little oracle here. It's a cleaning bot shoved into an oracle, pretty standard stuff. Okay, maybe the first time that's been attempted in the oracle stories. All right, so stalkers are here. Oracle here, maybe try to bait out a little bit. Oh, blinks right in, snipes down the Cyclone, excellent, but suddenly there's a lot of Marines here, and the Stalkers are like, ah, get out, blink out. Oh, some of them leak out, most of them get murdered, though. That was a, whew, you're not trapped in here with, uh, I'm not trapped in here with you, you're trapped in here with me, kind of a thing. Charges on the way, Ryung says, I handled that exceptionally well. Hold on, I'm going to move out, just kidding, not doing that. Absolutely not doing that. Trying to bait some of the units into the Stasis Ward if they can. And, oh, actually, bam, beautiful. Baits him right into the stasis ward. Fantastic play there from Hero. Gonna try to jump in and get that bunker. Oh, that's awesome. But I'm not sure the bunkers are required. We got Marauders out. The stim is ready. Medivacs are here to heal up, too. Gonna try to keep these dudes. Why would you load up? Oh, because you want to lose your Medivacs to Stalkers. That's why. And then everybody comes out of stasis. The Marauders are getting focused, but the Stalkers have to get out of there because long term, that's not going to work out for them. There's a proxy gateway up at the north here from Hero. Some aggression for sure. The Oracle dies fairly well. Cleaning bot, we love you. Goodbye. And some Widow Mines at the front here saying, hey, why don't you come on in? Take a Widow Mine to the face, but with Blink Micro, Hero can deal with this. You can actually dodge. Yeah, see, I think he might come in here. Nah, he just blinks. Never mind. Never mind. And Ryung's like, okay, I'm tired of being on the defensive. I've really tried to get an attack going here for the last few minutes. So let's make this thing roll. Oh, then a hero recalls home because he recognizes the Terrans on the warpath a little bit and maybe to think, make Ryung think he's safe when in fact this little proxy warp gate is here. I don't know what they just killed. Something came over this way and absolutely died. The stalkers recalled home and then just came right back across the map. That's funny. <laughs> hero just spent that energy on a recall and was like, hey, I'm coming here now. And then he has to go back home and, ah! No! Thought he was safe. He was not. Man, imagine if Concussive Shell was done. Yeah, oh, that'd be so good. So two of the Stalkers survived that engagement. That was a blunder from Hero for sure. Concussive Shell's on the way. Ryung's like, ah, oh, I thought I had that upgrade. <laughs> well, maybe he didn't think that. But it would have been nice to have in that engagement. So he starts it now. Widow Mines army value is 74 to 45 in favor of Ryung. Holy smokes. I don't even know what that was. Blink Stalker harassment possibly. And then there's a drop in the main. Just casually showing up, causing all sorts of problems for everything here in Perotasville. Dude, the pylon's getting focused down, depowering the Stargate and the Cybernetics Core. The Cybernetics Core straight up dying. Oh, it's Zealots trying to do stuff up here. Not going particularly well for the Zealots, I gotta say. And then an engagement over here to the third base. What don't mind connect shield battery overcharge? Keeping stuff alive has to boost on out as the responding stalkers and zealots are able to shove Ryung out of the main base during this all this action that's happening over the last 30 seconds or so. So it's slowed down, calmed down a little bit now here. Another reason to have Phoenix is you can chase down these medevacs and kill them if you have any Phoenix, but nope, not something Hero is going for right now. Zealots trying to just kind of do what they can, and finally Ryung's like, oh, there's a thing up here. Oh, they're walking to this widow mine. Yeah, one guy gets obliterated. Just absolutely removed. <laughs> Going for extended thermal answer is Hero. Does he have any Colossus yet? No. Are there any in production? Yes, there's now two. Just now starting two. Secret warp gate warp in position for Hero at the 12 o'clock is gone now. Zealot's going for a bit of a run by. Zealot run bys are really good in every matchup. Especially against Zerg, but also pretty good against Terran as well. Get in this mineral line, murder some stuff. There's no window mines to stop you from getting in there. I'd recommend you go. Just kidding, we're coming back. Maybe no, we're bouncing around. Not quite sure where to commit with these. Is the third base defended enough? The answer is there's two cannons and a shield battery and a sentry, so probably not. It's 109 to 79 supply. The Colossus are not here yet. This is a very vulnerable time from Hero. And here come the Marines and the Marauders. And they're going to take that shield battery first. Well targeted. 
And then some Zealots show up, force a little bit of kiting back. More units tack it in there as well. What is killing probes, though? Is there a Widow Mine drop I missed somewhere? Were there probes here that died? I don't know. Either way, picking up and getting out of there. Unloading on the high ground to get a bit of a win. And then a ginormous push from Ryung. Coming right into the natural and cancels the warp and depowers two warp gates and a robotics facility. And then the Colossus show up and it's like, ah, okay. Well, the recall is forced as well. This is a pretty fantastic PVT. Uh, trying to fight their way through. Ryung heading back out. Another small army coming on in. These Widow Mines, there's no detection from Hero here. And I really feel like he could use some detection with the Widow Mines that exist. There's one observer on the map right now. And said observer is over clear on the other side. So for defensive purposes, there are none. Oh, these two Widow Mines took a risk and died. These two Widow Mines hanging out. Uh, got detected. They're going to kill, okay, a Zealot. Two Zealots for two Widow Mine fires. That's fine, I guess. Totally fine. So the Colossus are out. Extended Thermal Lance. Oh, has to get re... Oh, no, it gets paused because the Robotics Bay was depowered. Oh, that's huge. That's so big. On the other side, we are getting DT Blink as the Dark Shrine is here. Ryung taking a fourth base at the 12 o'clock right now. I think Ryung is in pretty he's in a pretty hot position right now. He's getting ghosts, he's getting Vikings to deal with the Colossus. They don't have extended thermal lance. What just killed? Are you seriously? The Widow Mine actually gets some probe kills here. That should not have happened. Where's your detection? I guess this wasn't powered for a minute. In all fairness, yes. Hero on the warpath, heading the other direction right now. And does kill a marine. And is there going to be enough here to get up this ramp? He doesn't have any splash damage at all. He might need to wait for the disruptors to show up. Uh, because that's really what his splash damage is. Maybe the Colossus too. Another attempted poke on in here. Trying to get some stuff done. But I mean not much accomplished. Almost. Took down a warp gate. It's very bruised up. And could be killed in a future attack. But yeah. Disruptors. Colossus. We're here. And coming down a ramp here. EMPs do get tossed down. Zealots that are squishier because they've been EMP'd are Terran's delight. But the Colossus have extended their reliance. But Colossus taking huge hits from Marauders there. Stalker's trying to buffer a little bit. At the same time, decides not to go down into that little valley. What are you guys doing? Heading up, I guess. Going somewhere else. Hero needs a fourth base. I feel like his ability to expand. Yes, there we go. Fourth base timing here. Feeling that timing. Into my casting bones. Hit that like button, by the way. If you're enjoying this one, this is a great back and forth. I think Ryung might actually be able to do this. Again, he's playing exceptionally well in 2022. He's having a great year. Hero is as well, though. Let's not discount Hero. I just feel like Ryung's playing a little bit better overall, but does that really matter when it comes to one game? I'm not sure that it does. If someone's playing a little bit better than somebody else, the odds are they're going to beat them in a best of three or a best of five or a best of seven. But in one game, if the difference isn't all that much then it's not all that much right so dt group on the left side maybe trying to sneak on in if there was detection this widow mine would be so 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 happy but no there is not and just kind of wanders in blinks on top of the planetary forces a lift off oh the saving grace is that it wasn't done yet because it would be dead otherwise this dt stuff is fantastic emp so they're visible which means this widow mine is gonna fire on that guy. Oh, did he not? Oh, he blinks out. Beautiful stuff. So 12 workers die. Income was favoring Rung for the past four minutes, but now it's down into Hero's side because of those SCV deaths. Disruptor sending out those Novas. So we like to see from Protoss is Novas zoning out. The Terran army connecting is great, but also zoning them out is very, very good as well. Marauders, five at a time being produced. Liberators coming in here, too. The late-game TPP composition is real. He tried to sneak up this way, but there was an Observer. So, I mean, Disruptor is here to deal with that. While well, Hero just goes the other way. Nova connection! Big connection! And another big connection because he's worried about this stuff. Oh, Hero defends so well! But on the other side, Ryung defending pretty well, too. Completely forcing Hero out of here. Some probes died, but dude, Disruptor with six kills. This Disruptor with seven kills. Get on my level, new disruptor, say the old war veteran combat tested disruptors. Because Ryung's attention was on the other side of the map. Massive connections. Ryung's expanding again here. I mean, Hero's got the fourth. It is fully saturated now, or there are, death, there are, there we go, probes on the way to saturate said base, which is great. 
going for, ooh, okay, I like advanced ballistics, liberators, getting that extra range, really frustrating to deal with. And now Hero is taking a fifth base along this left side as well. So, man, 109 to 93 army supply, pretty close overall, sniping an observer with the ghosts. Ryung backing out. Trying to come down this left side again. Oh, I think that Nexus is... Ooh, the response here is pretty good. Yeah, so the Nexus is okay. Liberator setting up. Absolute insanity here. Novas don't really make good connections. That one gets split against too. Yeah, Ryung splitting when he has the ability to recognize what's happening here. Blinking on top of the army, though. They were trying to kill the Disruptors. But actually standing on in the Stalkers overextended there. Disruptors taking massive hits, and oh no! Oh no, Hero! Did he just make an absolutely overconfident mistake there? The Stalkers are getting obliterated. It's down to 15 army supply from Hero. The base gets canceled on this left side. It's not a huge army from Ryung coming in, but there's nothing. There's a Disruptor and a Dream. Nova comes in, picks everybody up, dodges that way, which is pretty darn effective. Unloading here, and I... Is one engagement... No! takes down the disruptor is this is that one engagement gonna be too much nexus down hero no <laughs> he was doing so well nova does not make a connection the disruptors keep dying before and gg ryung is your winner in a fantastic pvt well played by ryung fantastically well played by ryung there he lost a planetary fortress in the middle of morphing, which is not as disastrous as losing a planetary fortress that is finished transforming. So that was a lucky thing for Ryung. Maybe here sort of waited until it was done. But uh, yeah, that was a pretty disastrous decision to blink on top of Marine Marauder with three attack and two armor with, again, Liberator and Medivac support. Just overextending just once. And all of the stalkers died. The Man. Okay, so hang on a second here. I think we need... I'm just going to check the army value here on that battle. So, like, right here... Right here, it's 77 to 53 supply. He blinks on top. Okay? 77 to 42. 76 to 36. 71 to 40. 38. He tries to warp in more reinforcements here. The disruptors aren't really removed from the battle fast enough. Bam, down to 27, 29. He's trying to blink stalker his way through this thing. Some zealots show up to buy a little bit of time, but marauders are mean. And at the end of that battle, it's 71 to 13 army supply. That's crazy. That is key crazy stuff there. Absolutely Sick impressive. I mean, these medevacs have energy on them. And then this base dies, and then suddenly the, like, the hero doesn't have a ton of gas to make anything really but zealots. And he's making a couple disruptors. He's just desperate at this point, right? Beautiful dodging from Ryung, too. Like, a lesser Terran player totally takes hits on those. And maybe Hero can survive, but it's 91 to 20 army supply, and I just don't. Like, this right here, this Nova is d hoping that the Terran screws up. That one is too. Like, you're just relying on the Terran making mistakes, and no. Nope! So, absolutely beautiful, beautiful play there from Ryung. Gets the win. Resources lost. 27,000 to 16. And I want to say it was closer before that battle, and then suddenly... Ryung's way ahead. And yeah, Hero should have backed off. He should have backed off. He should have blink, blinked. Maybe not run right on top of those dudes. But overall, really good game. Back and forth attacks all over the place. We ended up losing the one Nexus. The other one got canceled on the left side. No bases died from Ryung today. But 15 SCVs and 22 probes did go down. So just overall, great PVT. Really, really fun back and forth on the Patreon side of things there. And... Gorgeous. I mean, absolutely. I, uh, what could have Ryung done better? I don't know. He got ghosts out when he needed to. He had some nice EMPs, which is all that you really need. Did he get enhanced shockwave? He certainly did. Why would I even ask that question? 
And then upgrades are plus three attack from Hero, which is great. Plus three attack from Ryung as well. Yeah. The DTs did a ton of work, but not, no, not enough. And, oh, yeah, I forgot to mention this attack here that paused the extended thermal lance upgrade for quite some time was really good. Depower these two warp gates, too, and this Twilight Council and this robotics facility, I want to say, as well. So, fantastic. Absolutely great play from Ryung. 100 points for that one. And that's going to be it for me. So this is Ben Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II, A Legacy of the Void, and a Patreon cast. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw, what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. You take care of yourself.